Kevin, uh, a 2-1 home defeat by league leaders Mikel over this evening. Um, not been able to make a dent in their 100% record. I think we could see why they've started the season well, but uh, uh, pushed them pretty hard, but maybe just lacking that bit of quality. Yeah, I think so in the end. I thought, you know, we dominated the ball in the in the second period. Um, maybe lived a shade uh, dangerously at one or two times in the first half. And, and Mikulova, you know, caught us a couple of times on the counter and had some near misses there, to be fair to them. But, yeah, we, you know, we scored a, a terrific goal to equalise and, you know, then we switch off and, and allow Mikulova to take the lead so soon after, like I say, um, getting ourselves back into the game, which is disappointing. But certainly the way that we... Um, you know, we moved the ball in the second half and played a shorter game and, you know, more of a passing game, which is obviously what we want here. Um, yeah, I thought we were, you know, we were decent in the second period. And strangely, obviously, you know, you look at the, the performance Saturday to the, to the performance tonight, you know, much more of what I want us to be and, and be about on show tonight than there was on Saturday. Sure. Probably, uh, I mean, I felt that maybe, you know, if you, it's a hypothetical question because you haven't got the ability to call on Nathan Fox and Fraser here at the moment. But again, and just another couple, you know, more experienced options in there might have just, I think, brought brought them onto a pole with Michelova. Possibly so. You know, I didn't take nothing away from the lads that have, that have gone out there tonight. But certainly, you know, my feeling Saturday, you know, we are naive at times. We, and I said afterwards, you know, I'm probably a little bit reliant on too many younger players that don't have the experience that perhaps we need. Um, but that's where we find ourselves. Yeah, they'll have been out there Saturday and learnt from that experience. And like I say, you know, the way that we've gone about our work today, I think we've taken Mikel over close and given them a real game. As you quite rightly point out, I think they're eight from eight now and credit to them. They keep finding a, you know, they find a way to win. Um, they've got, you know, good players in their group and, you know, they're obviously very progressive and, and, and credit to them, you know, to come here and, you know, beat us like they have. Um, it, they've, they've played well, but certainly... You know, the positive for me is the way that we've we've passed the ball, certainly in the second period, and asked questions. And yeah, I would have liked something out of the game, and possibly you can make a case we should have taken something out of the game. But you know, that's where we find ourselves. Um, but certainly a, a better all-round performance than than what we showed Saturday. Sure. Um, does it feel, I guess, more like a, a step forward? Um, I know not in terms of the result. I mean, I know that you're now happy losing games of football, um, we wouldn't want you to be. But in terms of what you saw, does it, did it feel like you've learned more about the same this evening? Yeah, you know, there's probably a little bit more experience out there today. And as you rightly point out earlier, that, that, that could be complemented with, like I say, with Fraser, with, with Nathan being fit, um, you know, not having Ty available. I know he's younger, but, you know, to, to have that sort of armoury on your, on your bench or in your group would, yeah, obviously gives you more options to, to, to choose from. But I thought the momentum we built up in the in the you know in the second period was was strong. And again, you know, pointing out to the lads, you know, there weren't needless free kicks given away very often in that second period. There weren't needless offsides given away in that second period. And consequently, you bring more momentum to your game. Um, our game was shorter, um, passed the ball in better moments, probably braver on the on the ball than we have been for for a little while. Um, and yeah, like you know, we know against um, Halzo, we probably on the hour mark. We you know we lost away. Um, Colville on and around the hour mark, I would say we lost away in that in that game as well, and got very disjointed. And you know that may be my fault with, as I say, trusting in one or two of the younger boys and too many of them at once. Um, but yeah, we you know we're learning and understanding, and you know we'll all go away and reflect on on tonight's game and Saturday's game, and yeah, hopefully you know we're better for it. There is no game on Saturday. Um, it's a free weekend um, because of the FA Cup exit. Um, so that gives you a little bit more time to um, work um, before your next play game, which is Needham Market here on the 23rd. Um, you've also spoke about that timing possibly of, of, of any players coming in and because of maybe catering their yeah. involvement in the FA Cup, meaning you know not many games. So you're not anticipating any changes to the squad imminently? Um, well, again, we'll have to see you know when what players are available, you know, there were one or two that we could have potentially taken. Um, that hasn't been the case. And we felt like, you know, affording some of the opportunities tonight, I think it was it was the right move to make. You know, they've gone in there and acquitted themselves really, really well. Um, so, yeah, like I say, we need to find out the levels that, that they are capable of working at and hopefully, you know, capable of working at on a consistent basis. So, 
if, if players become available um, and it fits within within the budget and, and, and we can make it work and they're going to enhance what we are and clearly we you know we'd like to try and make a move but we are obviously challenged now we don't have a game for 10 days two weeks nearly um, so yeah you know we have to be mindful of that and, and you know obviously spending money that, that you know that we don't need to um, so yeah that, you know both both those situations got to come together and, 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 and be worked closely Kevin we appreciate your time thanks Thank very you. much